arm me up yet enough for you. There. I fixed it. I got it. So let's talk about what's going on here. Put some rock down here. So 2022, John Deere, about 76, 79, or somewhere in there. Anyways, so first time this happened, I really don't know when it happened. Pop said it smelled like coolant. I thought, no. And they got to the dealer and sure enough, it was leaking. Didn't think anything about it. They said... You know, it's covered in warranty. That's fine. So they fixed it. it. Cleaned out the creek. Uh, There's a bunch of debris blocking the creek from flowing. So I used the backhoe to reach down in there and get it out. Then I made it back to the house and I power washed the tractor, cleaned it all up. And I smelled coolant. It's like, what in the heck? Where is this coming from? So here you see right there where it's coming from. So while I was power washing, the stream, I guess, just got in there and cut the radiator open. This is only a 3200 PSI power washer and I did not have it directly on it at all. As you can see, it's not easy to get in there with that. So the power washer cut it open. Yes. So, you know, it's not that bad. Let's try to fix it, right? So, I did, and that turned out even worse. So, the metal is so thin, the second it gets hot enough, it just crumbles. It, it, you just can't do anything with it, it's not fixable. So I took it to a radiator repair shop, and the guy that's been doing this for 50 years tried, same thing happened. He said that was probably the thinnest aluminum radiator he's ever worked on. So I called the dealership, tried to get another radiator, and they said they're on back order. Probably due to the amount of new ones they're building. Who knows, but he said it'd be six months before they get one. So I called around everywhere trying to find one. Same prevail. So I got some measurements and I went online, found a radiator, almost the exact measurements and just a little few things different than what it was. So here we are making this radiator fit. We have to change a couple of locations of the input and output. We have to change the fill port, a few block off plates, and uh, that's it. So it's thicker than the original. And surprisingly, it fits really tight, but it does fit. So here we go. Okay. Remove these tabs off the side because they're going to be in our way after this. All right, I can't hold this and do this, so I'm gonna go get the tripod. Just gonna brag on this blade. I've used it for all kinds of things. While I was using it, it broke. It's cracked. Huh. All right, now I gotta cut this off. So. And this time has to go. Got another blade similar to the one I had. It is not as good, but it'll have to do. Safety glasses.
All right. Linux, metal max blade. It's worked great for aluminum. I always spray it down with silicone spray. Aluminum from gumming up on it. And that's where I'm gonna cut this off. It's very careful. Safety glasses. Got that ready to weld up. Cut this off. I also made a piece to go in between there and it to fill up the rest of the gap. And that would be this. He's going on there like this. But you do what you want. Alright, so this is where this one's going. Dab this up off camera. I ain't got time. Part of what I've created for this. Be it.
seven hours later. So these are where the coolers mount on the back side to be facing forward on the tractor. And nothing on the bottom because they go in the holes down there. This is where it mounts to the bulkhead. And it is good, I'll pressure test it. Well, it's not the prettiest. When I was today's years old when I learned how to weld aluminum. It's pretty easy. And then I had a problem where the tensioner was too tight on the spool. And that's why this looks like crap. Before I figured out what was going on. Got that straightened out. But there she is. I'm gonna get her mounted in the tractor. Of course it's nighttime now. It's not saying much, it's winter. So that happens early around here. Alright. So I did order some weld on bungs, but naturally they don't come in. Then the ones I did get were stainless steel. So had to return those. So I made my own. So this is made from half inch aluminum plate. Use the hole saw, drilled it out. These holes are M8, 1.25 thread. They were sixes with the 10 millimeter bolts, but I couldn't do that and drill a hole and get it perfect, so a little bigger. But I am sure the power washer won't cut this open. So as you can see, it's super easy to work on. And the whole front end comes off. And one connector right here goes to test fit. did finish it. Everything's done. I made these brackets to mount the bottle to. I could not use the original bar because this is in the way, which is fine. It's a little more sturdier now than it was. That change failed. So it was in the way. So I ended up having to move it again. So I just made a block off plate and I moved it up here. So it's perfect there. Oh, everything fits great. Everything's back together. I just put the coolant in it. So, anywho, there we go. Let's start this piggy. All done. 